It's no secret that I love Final Cut Pro 10. In fact, I think it is the best editing program out there. In fact, I'll just say it now and lay it down. It is the best out there. And the cool thing about Final Cut Pro is that it comes loaded with titles and effects. But what if you want something a little more? You want to spice up the videos and, and maybe you're not a graphics person like I am. Well, like I am not. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you some of the plugins I use and some of the best plugins I think you need to be using to up your video game in Final Cut Pro 10. Hey, I'm Kevin with Kevin Colby Media, and on this channel, I love to help people make an impact in the world with online video. And if that sounds like something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button. So here's a little disclaimer. I love plugins, but I think you can go overboard with them. In fact, you can you can just add so many things all over the screen that as we called it in television, it's junking up the shot. Hang on. Now, like I said, Final Cut Pro already comes with a lot of built-in titles and effects, so you don't have to buy any plugins, but if you're not a graphic artist, like I, I really don't know After Effects, and I, I bought Ma Apple Motion, but I, I don't even know how to use it. The plugins actually allow me to do things with my video and add like animations and lower thirds, and it saves me a lot of time too. Hey, here's my question. What software do you use to edit with? Let me know down in the comments. Let's get back to it. Now, one of my favorite go-to places for my plugins is Motion VFX. Now, Motion VFX has tons of plugins and templates for Final Cut Pro 10 and Motion and After Effects and Premiere. Now, Motion VFX is not sponsoring this video at all. I just love the product, and I do have an affiliate link, and I'll put it down in the description if you want to check out what they've got. So let's pop on the computer. I'll show you the plugins I use, and you'll see just how easy they are to use. So we're in uh, Final Cut Pro 10, and I want to just show you uh, the transitions I use quite a bit, but also just a few of the other ones and how easy it is to, uh, to customize it. So uh, if you notice over here, it says, well, when you open it up, and they, they live in your title. So if you notice right here, you see anything with an M is from Motion VFX. So you notice uh, Behavior Basics, Callouts, uh, Channel Modern. Now some of the, so if you look at Tuber and Tuber 2, those are actually the names of the packages. Uh, MTuber 2 is phenomenal, the first one I bought in quotes. Bunch of different logos. Uh, you can see that they're different templates and they're amazing. I mean, literally it can animate your logo just like that. Uh, simple is also another one but here's the thing they're they're customizable so you don't have to use it as a logo you can you can do different things with it and that may be a whole different uh, video if you guys want to see that let me know and I can go way more in depth into this on, on a on a tutorial here I just want to show you some basic ones but if you look at uh, lower bar all of these are preset well my name right here was one of those that I just went in and customized and it allows me, I change the font, I change the color, even the little red here, red is part of my core color. So I change that. I don't know that it was this one, but I'm just going to pull this one down to show you. This is what it would look like before you change it. So it says technical design. If you don't want to say that, you come up here and you put, I put my name because it's my name, Kevin Colby. And then I would scroll down and I would change this. I'm going to leave the plus. I think that's kind of cool to uh, video creator. Um, now, check this out. So I use, the font I use most of the time is called Basic Commercial. So I do that. Now, if I want the font size bigger, I just do that. Now it brings the bar up and I can do the same thing down here. Subtitle size. And you can move it independently. Uh, you can also move things around. And you can use this, if I can grab it, you can use this to size it too. You can change how it's angled if you wanted to do something cool like that. Um, it's it's extremely customizable. So if you remember how it animated a second ago, see, there you go. Well, Kevin, I don't like the yellow. Okay, that's fine. Hey, everybody's got their own thing. Title bar, you go up here, right here, and you can change the title bar to whatever. So let's say you wanted red, but now I can't see the font. Well, you can, but you know what I mean. So you go right here, let's go to Kevin Colby, and we want to change the color to, where is it, where is it, where is it? It should be right here. So see it's black, I'm going to change this to white. Bang, it's that simple. And if you want it longer, you can drag it longer, you can drag it shorter. So this right here was one of, in fact, it may have been that template right there. Now I think, no it wasn't. 
Uh, that's how easy it is to do that. Um, you've also got like the M Tuber, which is a phenomenal one. Uh, has so many things in here. Like here's the subscribe. Nope, it's not uh, one of these. Um, and by the way, if you see things like says drop zone, that's so you can add things in it. Um, here's one right here you could add. You could, and I, I'll just show this. You could add your picture. So anything right like it's on here, you highlight it, and you can change it in here. Your drop zone could be a picture. I don't have a, a picture to add in there, uh, but if I did, it would it would change that. So drop zone is just a place where it's very simple. You click here and do that. So that's very um, that's some of the the things you can do in here. They've got little swirls. They've got circles, and again, you can change the color. You can change the size on some of these. Uh, some of the other things that came with it I love. Oh, I was going to show you this. Uh, they also have quotes. Quotes is really cool, and I use these a lot. Uh, so I'm just going to – let's just blow this out. Uh, now, um, let me go back to this. You may say, well, wait, 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 wait. So why not just do it every time? Because think about saving time. So when I, when I found the one I liked, I created it. I saved it off, and now I just import it. So anytime I do a project, there it is. I just import it in and can drop it on my timeline. Saves a ton of time. So let's go back to here. I want to show you quotes. Quotes is really cool. Uh, let's just use this one. It's not really going to matter. We'll come over here. Um, so right now it's a quote from, it eh, doesn't really matter. So I'm going to change this to a quote, one of my favorite quotes of all time. My daughter said, this week was the best day ever and I'll even uh, change her it's it wasn't Pablo who said that her name is Ashland she said it when she was real little it's really cute again you can change the font we'll change it to oh why not comic strip because it's just not right uh, and then we'll change that the chalkboard uh, you can move it up you can size it now check this out again if you want to change the entire size you always come up to content scale content scale will do everything you can also do it from here look at this you don't like the colors no problem change the colors quotation mark we'll make that red uh background color we're not gonna line color uh let's make that uh blue and there you go and just like that we just changed it and again you can move this up you can move this over if you want it underneath uh, it usually gives you the option of turning the animation off. So in other words, uh, right now, if we let it play, it'll animate out. If we don't want it to animate out, just turn it off. And sometimes you want that because you just want to cut out. So those are good. Quotes, uh, transitions. So this is, this is actually cool. Um, it actually, one of the packages came with a bunch of transitions. Your transitions live under, don't get ahead of me, transitions. So we'll drop this one on. Oops. Uh, oh yeah, he, you know what? So we're gonna have that problem because. Okay, so that was funny. That was actually uh, when I was shooting this, my um, <laughs> my uh, iPad uh, slipped off my tripod. Yeah, so that was uh, that was actually. So we're gonna drop this on, and you get that. Pretty cool, huh? You don't like that effect? No problem. Let's put uh, this one on. Oh, you know what this one looks like. Um, and you can adjust everything about that. You can adjust the speed. Again, those came with it. Um, and one of the things, I used to never be a LUT fan, but check this out. But check this out. Um, they actually, that's not it. That's uh, Here we go. So if you wanted to dial this in right here, you can actually drop this on it. Now, here's the thing with most of these. You don't even have to drop it on there. You can get a, a preview. So let's say you wanted this to be, uh, golden age for some reason you can drop it over and look at all of these controls and here's a tip this was an absolute free LUT but you'll see tons of them I do have some other ones on here uh, from pixel film uh, my FCP effects uh, which can be a good one uh, for something like this now this didn't come from um, motion VFX but I want to show you so you want to highlight something this is, this is actually a cool one. So you come up here, and uh, I'm going to put um, please subscribe, except I can't spell it. Now watch this. Ready? What it does is it's called, it's like a rack focus is what we call it. So it blurs it. It puts the information up. 
and then it comes back. And I use this, I've used this before when I wanted to emphasize. So if you can think of a plugin you're looking for, chances are you can find it. And, and I would encourage you to check out Motion VFX. Again, they're not sponsoring this. I just, I just love the product and, and love what you can do with it. If you're on a Mac and you're not using Final Cut Pro 10, why not? I mean, it is like the best editing program out there. Well, check the video on the screen and I'll show you how you can try it for free. It's an amazing offer. Hey, I appreciate you being here. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks for stopping by.